my 27 male girlfriend 26 female and i have been together for about a year recently she became quieter than usual she didn't text as much didn't call even though i thought she might we don't live together but something felt off she seemed distant and it made me feel insecure and suspicious i found myself wanting to know her whereabouts who she was with what she was doing i knew that wasn't healthy but i couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong Turns out, my gut feeling was right. My friend told me she'd come across the second Facebook account that my girlfriend was using. I had no idea that she even had a second account. Turned out, she had blocked me on this second account, so I set up a new profile to figure out what she was hiding. That's when I saw it, her relationship status. She was dating another guy, and it seemed serious. Emo posts, pictures together, declarations of love, it all suddenly made sense. That's why she never posted any pictures of us on her other Facebook account, one which I know about and has barely any friends on. I called her immediately. I was furious, hurt, and desperate for answers. I ranted. I shouted. I had never been so devastated in my life. When she finally explained, she told me it was a guy from her hometown, someone she grew up with. Apparently, they were high school sweethearts who had reconnected two years ago and they'd been together since. That hit me like a ton of bricks. She'd been with him the entire time she was with me. All those times I thought we had something special, I was just the side piece. She kept telling me that I was the love of her life, but that her family chose the other guy for her. She said it like that was supposed to make it better. I pushed her for more details, and she admitted that every time she flew back home to visit, she would sleep with him. He was ready to propose, marry her, and start a family, while she was living a double life 300 miles away with me. I'm still reeling from all of this. I ended up sending the other guy a message, but he hasn't accepted my request. I know how these things go. She'll probably spin some story to make him think I'm just some crazy ex, so I feel the need to act fast. But honestly, I don't even know what to do anymore. The worst part is, she isn't ashamed of what she did. When I broke up with her, she acted shocked, like I was the one being unreasonable. She wants to pretend like none of it ever happened and just move on. She's been messaging me, telling me how much she loves me and wants us to continue. It's like she's a psychopath who doesn't see the damage she's done. Or maybe she just doesn't care. She keeps saying she loves me, but actions speak louder than words, and all her actions show is betrayal and deceit. I need somewhere to vent, and that's why I'm posting here. I still feel the pain, the confusion, the anger. It wasn't perfect, but I loved her with everything I had. To find out that I was the side piece from the very beginning is like a knife in the gut. The worst part is, she just doesn't even seem to care. She's moving on like nothing happened. Well, I'm here trying to make sense of the last year of my life. I'll be honest, part of me wants to blow her life up. I want to tell everyone what she did. Make sure the other guy knows the truth. Make sure her friends and family know she's not who they think she is. I know it's petty, and maybe it wouldn't even make me feel better, but right now, the hurt's so fresh that it's hard to think straight. I gave her my trust, my love, and my time, and she took it all for granted. How do I let go of the anger and the pain? I know I need to, but right now, I'm struggling to see the way out of this mess. Update. I messaged her boyfriend, sent him pictures of me and my now ex, and we talked. He had suspicions too, just like I did. He was furious and confronted her. After that, he told both of their families. Now everyone in her small town knows what she did, and there's no going back for a long time. Her reputation is ruined. People know she cheated on both of us, and she's being called out for being a liar and a cheat. She's been angry with me ever since, and I've gotten a lot of angry messages from her. But honestly, I don't care anymore. She made her choices, and now she has to deal with the consequences. She wanted to live her double life without any fallout, but that's not how it works. It doesn't take away all the pain, but at least I feel like I've done my part to make sure she's held accountable. I'm focusing on myself now. She can deal with the mess she created. It's not my problem anymore. The pain's still there, but it's getting a little easier each day knowing that I don't have to be part of her chaos anymore. It's her mess, and I'm walking away from it. Story 2 Do I even consider this infidelity? Very confused on how to feel. Here are the details. She's 29 and I'm 32. I got divorced late 2015 and have dated people on and off since then. 
nothing too serious. She was in a two-plus-year relationship that ended in August 2017. Her and I met online in September 2017. We hit things off real well and saw each other frequently. It's crazy how similar we are and our values and goals seem to align on literally every level. Though we did not talk about dating each other exclusively right away, I stopped pursuing other interests because I knew she was special and wanted to see where it would go. She, on the other hand, had a friend who lived out of state that she's known since high school. They'd been talking as well after her breakup in August 17. In early October 17, about a month into our relationship, she went out to visit him and ended up sleeping with him. I knew she went out there, but just discovered recently that it went as far as it did. She'd never been dishonest about it, we just never talked about it in such detail. I was curious, so I asked. It kind of bummed me out when I first learned she went to visit him, but we were only a month into the relationship and had not talked about exclusivity, so I let it go. Learning that she basically had a one-night stand out there hit me like a ton of bricks. When she came back, she told me it was really eye-opening and left her without question that I was exactly who she wanted to be with. I always assumed she just went to visit him and thought there was no possible way, if what she told me was true, that she was thinking about me the whole time she slept with him. I have felt sick since learning about it and I'm not sure if those feelings are justified based on the circumstances. I keep coming back to the fact that we hadn't talked about exclusivity. So is she really at fault for continuing to see what's out there? She explained that she assumed I was also dating other people, potentially sleeping with other people, since that's what a lot of people do until they talk about being exclusive. She'd been talking with this other person since before her and I met and needed to see if there was anything there. I guess I'm just kind of appalled that she'd sleep with someone who allegedly made her feel like the guy back home, me, was the person she wanted to be with. She mentioned she was not necessarily looking for something so serious after her relationship ended in August 17. So I guess I feel like I sort of fell in love with her pretty quickly and she was still trying to figure some things out over the first couple of months since our first date. She mentioned visiting this person to remove any what-ifs about what could be there, and it was so soon after her last relationship ended that she felt like it was now or never. I feel like she's having her cake and eating it too, which resulted in me feeling wronged. I'm not sure if I feel cheated on or what. We talked about being exclusive in late October 17, and things have been basically perfect since then. We've traveled together, and I honestly could not be happier and more sure about our future. We're planning on moving in together when our leases are up, and I've been thinking about how and when I might propose. Had I learned how far things went with this other person in October 17, I'm not sure I would have stuck around. But now we're to the point where I genuinely love this person and can envision an extremely happy marriage and life together. I've dated plenty of people and feel like I've found the one. But now I'm not so sure after learning how it went with someone else early on. So I guess my pointed questions to you are, how would you react? Is my reaction of feeling appalled justified? Should I let this go because we hadn't yet talked about being exclusive? I sincerely appreciate your input. If there are any details you'd like to know before commenting, please let me know. I feel very rambly and my mind's been a mess these past couple days. I know that ultimately I cannot control the way I feel, but typing it out and hearing feedback will help me tremendously in moving forward. FYI, as of right now, I've asked her for some space while I process the situation. Update This situation has continued to bother me and now I know why. I mentioned in my original post that her and I had not technically had the exclusivity talk prior to her going to visit this friend. While that is true, we hadn't had the official talk, there is a clarifying point I think is important. About a week or two before she went out there, she did tell me she'd been talking with this person for some time and always wondered what might be there. However, she explicitly told me she was not planning on pursuing anything further with this other person. Then, maybe a week or two later, she tells me she's going to Colorado to attend a beer fest with friends. Her actual motive was just to meet up with him. Since she told me she was not going to pursue anything else with this person, I thought she was legitimately just going to Colorado to see friends. I knew of the possibility that he'd be around, but felt like I had nothing to worry about since she told me that was dead. In her opinion, 
She told me she wasn't going to pursue anything with him, but then changed her mind and went there on a short notice whim to find out once and for all. She knew it needed to be done in order for her to either start a relationship with him or fully commit to anyone else without this lingering question. I can understand and respect that due diligence, but the way it was handled makes me feel misled and pretty gross. I asked her if she felt it was wrong to tell me one thing but then do the opposite, and she said she thinks it was shitty but not necessarily wrong. She feels like when she told me she was going to Colorado, it should have been obvious that it was to see him. We officially had the exclusivity talk about a week after she went to visit him. If I had known how far it went, I doubt I would have stuck around. I feel like she's been honest and genuine about everything since then, but I feel like she told me she wasn't going to pursue anything with this person and then took advantage of our non-exclusivity technicality to check it out. We didn't technically say we'd be exclusive, but she told me one thing and then did another. In her mind, she had a change of heart and didn't think too much of it because we were not technically exclusive and were just still getting to know each other. I guess I'm feeling very misled and unsure about whether this mishandling of our relationship early on is something I can move past. Thanks in advance for your input. Hearing your feedback truly helps me assess my own feelings and put things into perspective. It sounds like you were operating under the assumption that she was being upfront with you. And even though you weren't officially exclusive, her actions made it seem like she wasn't interested in pursuing anyone else. When someone tells you they won't pursue anything further and then do it, it kind of undermines the trust you're trying to build, exclusivity or not. To me, it doesn't matter if the exclusivity talk officially happened or not. It's about honesty and transparency. She gave you a false sense of security by saying it was dead with this other guy then went and hooked up with him anyway. That's definitely misleading, and it's totally valid for you to feel betrayed by that. If you decide to move forward with her, you need to make sure she understands how her actions hurt you, regardless of the technicality. If she dismisses your feelings or tries to brush off what she did as not that bad just because you hadn't defined the relationship yet, it might be a red flag for how she handles future conflicts. In all honesty, will this ever stop bothering you? If it doesn't, just break up. 